tackled there. Bigelow was thinking he had a chance to spring one. 22 seconds on the clock. And you do wonder, had Cal just done that the first time, probably about 30 seconds on the clock. A couple pass plays and, and at least a, a shot to get into the end zone. It becomes much tougher here. The Bears essentially can't make any mistakes now. They have one timeout left. And Maynard leads the Cal offense on the field. The Bears need a miracle. We look for a prevent type of defense from Nevada. You see the guys playing with depth. Even the linebackers back at 10 yards deep. They're going to try to keep everything in front of them. Look for lateral plays off of passes. Maynard. Got to get rid of it. Time ticking away. Maynard throws short. Anderson with the catch. Trying to get to the sideline. He got a great block from Allen and did get out of bounds. That play took 10 seconds, though, to get 12 yards. That's not a good ratio for the Bears. 31-24 Nevada. 12 seconds away from a huge upset win on the road. Now does still have that timeout. Maynard looking left. He'll throw. And he's got the catch and the huge hit dislodges the ball. Harper had it knocked away and they say catch and fumble apparently. And that will do it. The ruling is a catch and a fumble on the hit. Harper just took a huge pop. Brian Lane, the junior redshirt freshman from Sacramento, California, number 28. He switched from linebacker to safety. You saw some of that linebacker hitting ability. What a great way to dislodge that football right there. Get another look at it here. They ran the a clear out a catch and fumble. Recovery by Nevada. First down. So they talked about it, this official, this officiating crew, and they determined that the ruling is a catch and a fumble. Review. And they are going to review it, which is what I was about to say. You figure that has to be reviewed. So they'll go upstairs and take a look. If the call is overturned, I would assume they just call it an incomplete pass. Cal would have the ball all the way back in their own territory. So it may not make a difference, but we'll see if we can determine what should be the call here. Cal had three wide receivers to the left side of the screen there. The outside two, one of them being Keenan Allen, who you know they were keying on, were running clear out routes, and you had that third wide receiver come in and run a flag route. And I don't think, we saw that first replay, Coy, and I don't think that he ever had control of the ball. So uh, the, the goalpost was sort of in the way from our back camera, but I, I still think that first look we had, maybe this one will give us another look. The ball see is rattling around and I I don't believe he ever had control of that one. Could be wrong. But that that first look we had gave us a pretty good idea that the ball was moving around. It'll be do or die time. I don't know. It's close. He took that stride. The question is we'll see if we can tell here whether the ball was ever truly controlled by Harper. Hard to say. And it may not be enough to overturn the ruling on the field. And that may be what we the result that we get. After further video review, the ruling